In this video we're going to look at how your GCSE science grades are going to be calculated in the summer after all the exams have been sat. To start with we'll think about what the two different qualifications are that you could be taking. You could be sitting AQA GCSE combined science which is going to give you two full GCSEs in science which will encompass biology, chemistry and physics. To do that you'll need to take six one hour 15 minute exam papers two in biology, two in chemistry and two in physics. The alternative is that you could be doing triple science and that would involve you taking a separate GCSE in biology, chemistry and physics. So it gives you three full GCSEs instead of two. And to do that you're going to take six one hour 45 minute exam papers. So exam papers are each half an hour longer. If you're doing combined science these are the exam papers you're going to sit and the bits of content that will be in each paper. So you'll do two biology, two chemistry and two physics papers. Each of the papers is 1 hour and 15 minutes in length and is worth 70 marks and each of the papers is equally weighted so they're all worth the same amount. Once you've sat all six papers the total score from each paper is added up to give you a whole score for all six of the exams together for your combined science qualification and from that total they are going to calculate the two grades that you will be awarded. The way that they do that is that they rank the country in order of the total score across the six papers that they achieved. They then compare those scores to previous years and the performance of those candidates to previous years. And they work out how many marks would be required for each of the grade boundaries. So you might say, for instance, need 100 marks to achieve two grade fours. The next boundary down would be a grade 4 and a grade 3 and that might only need 96 marks. The next boundary up from two grade 4s would be a 5 and a 4 and you might need say 108 marks to achieve that pair of grades. They then fill in the rest of the grade boundaries in a similar manner. The same process is used for triple science but they do that for each individual science. So if you're doing triple, the exam papers that you're going to sit are 2 Biology, 2 Chemistry, 2 Physics. Each exam is 1 hour 45 minutes in length and each paper is worth 100 marks. The scores from all the papers are added together for each qualification. So the 2 Biology papers will be added together and you'll then go through that process of ranking and the grade boundaries being added. The 2 Chemistry papers will be added and the 2 Physics papers will be added together. So you then get individual grades for each of the sciences. So, in summary, if you're doing combined science, the scores from all six of the exam papers are added together. That determines the two GCSE grades that you're going to be awarded. For example, you could get two grade fives. If you get some more marks, you might get a grade six and a grade five. Some more marks would get you two grade sixes, and so on. The two grades are linked together, though, from all six of the exam papers. If you're doing triple, you get a separate GCSE grade based on the two papers that you sit in each of the sciences. So you could get a grade 6 in biology, 7 in chemistry and a 5 in physics. They're not linked at all, those three grades. One of the really important decisions that you're going to have to make alongside your teacher is whether you do the higher paper or the foundation paper. In the past, the foundation paper has only allowed a maximum of a grade C which is at that level there, which is part way into a grade 5. However, the foundation paper now goes up to a grade 5, which is slightly higher, which allows you to access some B grade content. So it's a slightly more difficult paper. The other consideration is that historically the lowest grade you could have got on a higher paper is a grade D. And if you missed that grade D, you would have then got a U if you didn't meet the number of marks required to get the grade D. The lowest you can now get on a higher paper is a grade 3, or sorry, a grade 4. So if you drop below that grade 4, you don't meet the standard to get the grade 4, then you would get a U, and it would be two U's because it's two grades in combined science or in the individual science. So we need to make sure that we select the right paper to make sure you can have access to the best possible grades for you and that we don't risk you not getting a grade. I hope all that makes sense. If you've got any questions about the grades on your GCSE science papers, then please feel free to ask your science teacher. Thank you very much.